Our final profile is a trailblazer in the disability rights community. Kathy Martinez has worked hard to increase job opportunities for Latinos with disabilities and reduce poverty. With an impressive reputation locally and internationally, she was recently confirmed by President Barack Obama as Assistant Secretary for the Office of Disability Employment Policy in the Department of Labor. Blind since birth, Kathy Martinez is not only an advocate of the independent living movement, she leads by example. For the past four years, she has headed up the World Institute on Disability, an influential research and public policy center. The mission of the World Institute on Disability is that people with disabilities throughout the world are integrated into society, plain and simple, that we are able to contribute to our families, participate in community life, and earn a living. And because, for the most part, society is not really accessible to us, or has not been in the past. In fact, many improvements initially developed for the disability community have become a regular part of society, developments we all now use and take for granted. So for example, curb ramps. Who uses those curb ramps? It's folks who are older, folks with strollers, folks with camera equipment, folks who have uh, uh, briefcases or carry uh, with those pull bags. I know it's gonna look Kathy like finds that as people live longer, it's more important to support the disability rights movement. Our population is an aging population. And while most people who are aging do not admit to having disabilities, they're very much like my mother who says, I'm not disabled, I just don't hear so well and I don't see so well. Kathy's strong work ethic comes from the way her parents raised her and one of her sisters, who is also blind. One of the biggest barriers for people with disabilities, in addition to isolation, is low expectations. When people don't expect much of you, you don't have to perform. And when they do, you do. And my parents expected that we could contribute, that we did have something to offer. So that has played a role in my life as a student, as a parent, as a supervisor. Kathy knows that one of the key ingredients to living independently is economic self-sufficiency. We have a 22% unemployment rate, which is, in my opinion, is a national disgrace. There is a talent pool that has not been tapped, but WID wants to change that because we know that people with disabilities, qualified people with disabilities, are good workers, and we deserve the chance to succeed and, frankly, to fail like anybody else. It's especially tough in immigrant communities where disability is viewed differently across cultures. The more we view people with disabilities as regular guys or, and women, I think the more comfortable people will be. The more we're seen as part of a team, part of your workforce, part of your bus ride, part of your chef's school, that's gonna raise the boat for everybody. Because whether we like it or not, disability is often a condition that people can uh, acquire and we don't know when that, that will happen to us. Our congratulations to Kathy Martinez on her new post in the nation's capital. Now, World Institute on Disability is excited to announce its signature event, Ever Widening Circle, coming up October 30th. This year's headliner is the legendary Janice Ian, and it promises to be an inspiring and memorable experience. We hope you've enjoyed meeting our profiles of excellence. Each of them makes an important contribution to the Bay Area. From the Museum of Performance and Design here in San Francisco, I'm Eric Thomas. Thank you for watching.